Hey everybody, it's NickyV917 here, and this is part 52 and we'll walk through a Pokemon Coliseum. In this part, we're gonna head up this elevator and see where it takes us. Oh man, we're coming down the home stretch. No telling what's on the other side of this elevator. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Well, that's freaking epic. Look at the fans, they love us! Go Nick, go Nick, go Nick! What kept you, Nick? I was worried that Gonzap had beaten you. The time has come for you to pay off some debts. We will have you battle as payment towards the huge losses you inflicted on us. I expect to see spectacular battling out of you. After all, you're here to entertain. <laughs> what the? I didn't come up here to battle some steroid abusing chick. A big crowd like this it is a little intimidating. I don't want to be embarrassed, so I'll battle to win. So apparently, we're not battling the big boss just yet. We have to go through a few lackeys, and oh, you would have to bring up my new favorite Pokemon, wouldn't you? You would have to bring up freaking Porygon, too. You suck. You suck! Oh. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, milk tank. Phew. For a second there, I was worried that Porygon, too, was going to be the one that I... Oh, well. So sorry, Porygon, but this has nothing to do with you. Defense girl. I kind of like the Pokemon Stadium 2 animation for uh, Defense Curl. That was pretty cool. No! Porygon 2! Oh, well. And next up is Zangoose. So, apparently, this chick's gimmick is normal types. Maybe I should stop using defense, curl. Or maybe I should stop using bite. If it keeps using defense, curl, then I'm not going to be able to get it. Well, actually, defense, curl seems to be doing just about what I need it to be doing. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not too terrible. And that took him out pretty well, so... Yeah, no worries. And Umbreon is up to 50. That is awesome. Okay. I'm gonna switch out to Ampharos. Because him on top's job is done. And let's just keep using Bite now that we got five extra um, attacks er, for our attack stat with the level up, so. I'm sure that Bite won't be as useless as before. I guess. Oh, yeah, this will work good. There's Thunder Wave and Bite. That was a very odd way to use a body slam. That was more like a more like a rollout. Oh, you would have to get paralyzed on the turn that I used Thunder Wave, and you would have to get critical hitted. Oh my God! Come on, that's three in a row that I lost. Sheesh. Like it, it's almost looking like I'm trying to knock these guys out, but I'm not. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. I know. That's what I'm saying. Ugh. Alright, now we get to face Nazgore, right? Right? Oh. Some stupid rider. My turn next. I can already see where this is going. We're gonna have to buy three or four of these guys in a tournament style. Oh boy. Absol and Mightyena. Okay, well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this guy's gimmick is Dark-type Pokemon. So again, Hitmontop will be 
uh, useful. Oh, who is, who is it? Absol. And once again, we have stat drops all around. Alright, let's try to lower it down a little bit with Bite. That did not do a lot. Well, I guess that will work. It'll work very, very slowly, but it will work. Swords Dance? That could be a problem. With everybody else taking stat drops in that particular stat, that might not be good. I've always kind of wondered, what is with the little horn, or the side horn thingy sticking out of the side of Absol's head? It just looks weird. Especially considering it's only on one side. Nothing on the other side. Okay, so Absol clearly has a plan going. Oh, crud. Please don't kill Absol. Well, it didn't kill him, but now my attack will kill him. That's just, that's just great. Thank you. Oh no, it didn't! Absol tanked it! Absol tanked it! And Sharpedo's out of the picture now, so we don't have to worry about him doing that again. You're kidding, right? Oh my god. That's just stupid. I heard about you, but you were much more than I expected. Dang it! I really wanted to catch that guy. I kinda like Absol. Well, at least now we're moving on to Cypher members. Cypher members doing the moonwalk. Gee. You must be Nick. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Don't think that. Don't you think this is a great honor to battle on this fabulous stage? I'm going to beat you and earn my promotion to an admin. I will admit this is a pretty cool stage. I mean, just look at this. The fans, they love me. I'm, I'm a fan favorite now. Houndoom and Torkoal. Well, we have another Pokemon, or we have another trainer with a type fetish. This chick loves her some fire types. And guess which one is? Houndoom, the good one. I'm gonna take a risk and use Surf. The stat should go in half, or the damage should go in half. Oh wow, that, that's actually a great idea. Howl. Oh, okay. I, I, I always confuse Howl for Roar. Okay, another Surf, and I should be good. And Torkoal flinched. Isn't that just dandy? Okay. This time, I think Houndoom will be okay. Down goes Torkoal. My cargo. <laughs> this surf is gonna knock the crap out of that. Very good. And also very good. Yeah, now we're finally starting it starting to get into some good Pokemon. Alright. 
So let's start throwing out Ultra Balls. Let's go with a yawn. See if we can get him to go to sleep. Hmm. Yeah, Nick used a yawn. Hmm. And alright, we finally caught a Shadow Pokemon again. And Houndoom is going to the PC, never to be seen again, but hey, we were able to catch him. That's the important part. No, I'm so good, I might be fired. Oh, don't take it so bad, you probably won't be fired. If every single Cypher employee was fired because they lost to me, uh, there, there wouldn't be very much, many people attending the Christmas party at the end of the year, let me just put it that way. Alright, and another Cypher... <laughs> just over the 10 minute mark. I think we can squeeze this battle in before the end of the video. I'm the last battler. Thank you! I will show you exactly why I was chosen to anchor our squad. Oh yeah, yeah, Stan. Stan. <laughs> Tropius and Cacturn. No prizes if you can figure out his type. But, oh crud, I have Umbreon, er, not Umbreon, Quagsire in. And we have a Shadow, Tropius. Alright, well. Oh, no, crud, I wanted to use Ice Beam, this is gonna do Jack Dick. And now it's gonna die because somebody's gonna use a Grass Attack on it. Well, it flinched, and needle arm. Yep, saw that one coming. Alright, well, I still have a fire Pokemon, so let's use that. I'm gonna get rid of that needle arm. That's a problem. I, you have been avenged! Right. And we have Cradley. I still don't know what type Cradley is. Like, I really don't care about fossil Pokemon after Generation 1. I mean, there was... Wow, how is that Tropius fly? Anyway, I know there was... Like, there was Omanyte, the Omanyte Omastar, uh, the Co Cobbletop Cobbletops, and the Aerodactyl. That was cool. But after that, I, I just didn't really care anymore. So, yeah. I haven't really ever used a... Uh, I never really used a fossil Pokemon on any of my normal teams, but on my shoddy battling, uh, Aerodactyl is actually my lead. And, oh, come on! Sheesh. Okay, now I can see why this guy was anchor of this team. Hmm. Let's see if Psychic can do that. Very good. Hm. Umbreon and Espeon. Uh, it's just like old times. And Umbreon's almost up to level 51. Wow. Oh, and a Vile Plume. That's that's a that's just excellent. Cause... Now I have a Psychic type to take it down. Alright, let's switch out Umbreon to Ampharos. And use Psychic on Droppy, or no, Biopone. Take him down. I know we're running up there on time, but hell, no, no time limit, so I can pretty much do whatever. Oh, I never noticed that his eyes went X'd. 
I once went into a lens crafters one time and I actually saw a pair of contact lenses that had like a red X on them so that when you put them in your eyes you look like you had the X on them. I thought that was kind of cool. I kind of wanted to get some of those. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try Swift. That did well. And I think that'll actually be a good thing for whittling down Tropius. Should I don't or should I not be able to catch it on this first go round? Synthesis. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right. Well, he's paralyzed, so might as well give an ultra ball, or might as well give the ultra ball a shot. All right. Here we go. Attempt number one. I hope that's all I have to say. No, of course not. That would be too easy. Thunderbolt. That did good. Magical Leaf. I think that does more damage based on how heavy the other Pokemon is. I think. I think that's how it works. Could be wrong, though. Alright. Attempt number two. More realistically this time. And yes, I know we're already up to over seven or sixteen minutes. Alright, Paratraction should be able to keep him from trying another synthesis. Come on! Alright, Thunderbolt and Swift. That should do good. All right, that'll work. And it's immobilized. All right, use Ultra Balls and Swift. And let's start praying this actually works, because I want to end, or I want to get all of these battles in one video. You know what? Screw it. You'll see the capture at the start of the next video. So, yeah. I'm gonna end this off. So, this has been Nicky Now and Seven saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 53 of my walkthrough in Pokemon Coliseum. I will see you next time. Oh, wait, wait. Crud. Wrong thing.